Planning your sightseeing in Rome can be a little overwhelming. There's a ton to do here and you might not have a lot of time. So the number one thing you want to avoid is showing up somewhere only for it to be closed. To try to help you with that, I wrote this little poem not too long ago. Now I am definitely not a poet, so please bear with me. It's just a fun little thing that I thought might help. Dreaming of the Sistine Chapel? Then don't go on a Sunday. And stay away from smaller churches, at least if it is midday. On Monday, many museums are a no-go. While for lots of restaurants, it's the day of reposo. There is a catacomb open every day, few, and the Colosseum and Forum are open daily too. While shops can be tough on Sunday, unless they're big and new. So again, just a fun, silly thing. Nothing I'm hoping to get published anywhere, at least on my blog, which it already is. Um, but there is truth to it. So first of all, the Sistine Chapel. Don't go on a Sunday. Why? The Sistine Chapel is located within the Vatican Museums. They are closed on Sunday, except for the last Sunday of the month, when they're also free. But I don't necessarily recommend going then unless you're on a very strict budget, because the line tends to be very long. We're talking three, four hours. Stay away from smaller churches if it's midday. I don't mean stay away from smaller churches in general. These are some of Rome's finest gems. But a lot of them, even if they open very early in the morning, tend to close from about noon to four o'clock. So not a great time to go. On Monday, many museums are a no-go. Not the Vatican museums, those are open, but Rome's museums. The Borghese Gallery, for example, which happens to be my favorite art museum in Rome. The Palazzo Massimo, my favorite archeological museum in Rome all closed on Monday. For lots of restaurants, it's the day of reposo. Now, the day of reposo is the one day a week that restaurants take off, they relax, they rest. It actually was legally mandated up until this past January that every restaurant had to be closed one day a week. Most picked Monday. Now, this is no longer the law, it has changed, but tradition takes a little while to change here in Italy, and so a lot of places are still closed on Monday. Others might be closed Tuesday, some Sunday night, a handful on Wednesday. So if there's a place you really want to eat at, just make sure you either call in advance or have your hotel call, book a table while you're at it. There is a catacomb open every day, few. So there are five catacombs in Rome that are open to the public. And on any given day of the week, at least a couple of them are open. But again, double check to make sure the catacomb you want to go to is open on the day you want to go. Um, all of these catacombs do have websites online with English, so very easy to check in advance. The Colosseum and Forum are open daily too. Great news. Um, of course, one exception to this is if there's a strike, but we're gonna hope that's not going to happen while you're here. And shops can be tough on Sunday unless they're big and new. If you've been following my blog at all, you might know that I am a huge fan of Rome's independent and artisanal stores. These also, however, tend to be the stores that close on Sunday and often Monday morning through lunch. So if you want to delve into this side of Rome shopping, which I really, really recommend, then just try to go on another day of the week. So that's it. That's all you need to know to help plan your sightseeing scheduling in Rome. Um, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to leave them on the video or email me. I'm Amanda Ruggeri, and this is Revealed Rome.